dear friends, I am excited that we are able to talk in this fashion. The COVID pandemic has made Zoom calls, video conferences, video conferences legitimate and authentic as way of meeting each other and discussing. However, I would be more happy if we could meet personally someday. But I want to take this opportunity to reach out to you, to share with you what I feel is very pertinent to our Naga family. You know, when I was 19, I started selling ice creams in Kohima. Not because I really loved selling ice cream, but I know that we need to learn how to do business. So I forced myself to love to sell ice cream. I forced myself to think business and do business, and today I love business. But I am more of a social entrepreneur than a businessman. Hardly 10% of my time is done for business. 90% I give to social entrepreneurship. But what I know today is business is no more one of the options. Business is the option for Nagas. If we want to grow and develop, Government job is of yesterday's idea. You cannot talk about economic security. You need to talk about economic freedom. You cannot talk about securing a job. You have to talk about how to generate thousands of jobs for our people. And you can generate thousands of jobs for our people only if you do business. If we want to actually understand and live out and enjoy the very essence of Nagaland state being strategically positioned in the corridor of SARC and ASEAN nations. We have no choice but to do business. If we are to take advantage of land-based resources, if we are to take advantage of human capital, we have no choice but to think business. And I want to encourage young people to re-look really at what Joseph did in the Old Testament. He suggested that Pharaoh should extract 20% of the produce during the abundant seven years. That's something we can think about. Because if one is a government servant, it is going to be a challenge to give even 10% of your tithe to God. But if you do business with crores of income in a month, you don't need crows to survive. You can even give 50% of your income to as tight to God, to give back. In fact, you will follow Joseph's advice. Instead of 10%, you will be able to give 20% back to God, if only if you do business. So I want the young Nagas to realize that business is something we cannot ignore anymore. It is not just our future. It is the present as well. If you look around you, thousands and tens of thousands of non-locals are able to do good business. And then none of them are here in Nagaland for a government clerical job, which we Nagas, as students, unions, youth bodies, celebrate somebody when they pass out in government job. They don't do that. They are employing our boys and girls. And that is because of business. I want you people to seriously think Build your own future. Don't wait for your parents to advise you. It will be too late. Take it up and become rich and prosperous. Have a glamorous life. Great opportunities for Nagaland. Thank you and Kuknalim.